are the very choices you made. John Passa was nominated for project he worked on, Ghana Must Go, and Venus Productions' Candle in the Wind. He thinks both projects were involving and demanded top-notch creativity to achieve the desired output. Candle in the Wind probably might have won because of um, the ecstasies that went in there. Candle in the Wind had a lot of night scenes and then a lot of um, camera movement. There was so much developing short in Candle in the Wind. Some of the time it has to add up to the story. There are other situations where you have to use camera movement to combine scenes. Okay. I remember there was a point that I have to put the jeep on the track okay. to do a camera movement to combine three scenes together. You see, so it was a lot of artwork in there. The success didn't come overnight. It took hard work and sacrifice. For how far I have come, I will mention Mr. Kweku Pasa when nature made it impossible for my biological parents to cater for me. He handled the mantle and then brought me this far with a very good friend of his called Samuel Kwesi Shen. And then one more person that I will say has contributed is one Peter Usu Mensa. When it was time to find my vocation, Peter Usu Mensa gave me the platform and that is what I stood on to spring to this far. And he is the father of the one you call Calibus. Despite being recognized, the award-winning cinematographer maintains the feat couldn't have been achieved without support from other team members. Other projects worked on by John Passa are Potomanto, Adam's Apple, A Sting in a Tail, and Sparrow Productions' Perfect Picture. He encouraged aspiring cinematographers to take every learning opportunity serious and not to make the desire for money defocus them. Put learning first, read wide and ask plenty of questions. And in your area of specialization, always look out. Look on the TV, what is new, what you, you can't achieve, what somebody has done, and inquire how it was achieved. And it will help you to learn more. Congratulations to John Passa.